Hello YouTube, Rocky 3 here back with another kicking action figure review. Today's review is over the SH Figure Arts Mighty Morphin Power Ranger Red Ranger. Really cool figure, second ranger to come out in the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger Figure Arts series. And I just really love this guy. I was looking for the green one first because I got this guy at Dragon Con and I wanted to get the green ranger and then have Jason David Frank sign it, you know? Cause Tommy was there at the convention. And, but, uh... Yeah, I couldn't find Green Rangers anywhere. I guess people had the same idea as me, but I found some Red Rangers. I got them for you know, an okay price. No, uh, I would have paid probably a little more online for him, but... So I still got out with the deal. But, yeah, he's a really cool figure. Let me show you the box, since this is uh, the second figure we've ever gotten an American release for, before a Japanese release. Here it is, the Red Ranger box. It's got Red Ranger figure right there. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers 20th Anniversary, Tamashii Nations and Bandai. Red Ranger right there, all the weapons and stuff in the window. Figure Arts Red Ranger. Sides, there's another image of him. And here's the back, several poses and etc. Yeah, really cool figure. Really cool. Now here are all the accessories Red Ranger comes with. I'm not going to show you everything in his hands this time because like lots of the time with figure arts I'll have to remove stuff and then attach things to him like my Ryuki coming right to Ryuki but uh with this guy you know everything he just holds in his holding hands so it's not that big of a deal I might take some pictures of him if you want to see those just hit me up and I'll make a video with him but he's got several hands like his two uh hands that are like that and he does his pose with up top you got holding hands and then kind of looser holding hands and all, all kinds of hands really and then over here you have his different blasters his regular blaster and his thunder blaster is that what that's called i can't remember i i know i saw i saw the episode where they got him this summer it was like at the beginning of the summer and now school started so i don't really remember and then that's them combined right there and of course you got sword closed sword opened really cool and then this sword real nice beautiful. I can't remember the names of these weapons. So I feel bad. I watched more Dino Thunder, SPD, and Kamen Rider than I did Mighty Morphin this summer. So Now we can finally get a good look at the Red Ranger himself. Detail in the sky. Unparalleled. Really spectacular. Not like a Ranger Sentai guy. is hard to get the detail for. But uh, here's the head. Looks spectacular. That Tyranno Ranger helmet. Looks really good. Got the eyes right. All the detail up top right. The visor, the teeth, the mouth there. Looks real good. Nice white neck. Then you have the diamonds here. And they did the shoulders in a way to keep the detail with the diamond. But uh, the articulation, it makes it a little awkward. And you gotta move this back after you articulate him. Yeah, that's weird. I'll, I might talk about that during articulation as well. But it looks good, is the thing. And then back here you get that. I believe that might be for a flight stand. You know, Comic Con, they had like a flight, uh, a stand pack for these Rangers as an exclusive. Got his holster right here, and his stuff fits pretty well in it. Trust me. And it, you can turn around in his belt. He's got his morpher right there, really well detailed. You can see the Tyrannosaurus in it. He's got his gauntlets here. He's looking hands, legs, feet. Really cool. So now let's talk about articulation. Of course, the head can move all around, up and down, side to side, all kinds of stuff. And the neck can move as well. And then, as I was talking about the arms, I mean, it doesn't really get in the way, but it moves real weird and can kind of stop you sometimes a bit, so it gets in the way a little. But then you can always move it back to line up. So I guess it works great for the detail, but not too great for the articulation. And you have this double bend on the elbow, as you can see there. Of course, you can twist that. You got all this movement in the hands. Really great. You got this ab movement here. You got a ball above the waist. You have all this... Oh, poop! <laughs> oh, pop that right back on though. No big deal. Lots of these figures can do that. But uh, yeah, lots of movement on the legs. Real, real great movement down there. Double knee bend. And then so much movement on the feet. Oh my gosh. Real spectacular, you got toes and everything. So, yeah, you got that figure arts articulation we've all come to love. 
just a spectacular, spectacular figure. So yeah, now let's get into some size comparisons. So here's Jason compared to some Red Ranger figures from America, some American figures. Here's with the Triassic Ranger from Dino Thunder, the one I'm holding because his articulation is really loose and he can't stand by himself unless he has a stand or is leaning on something. Just I've had him for so many years and I've I played with him so much and I still mess around with him sometimes. He's a really cool figure. And they're about the same height, you know? So I think I think they look fine together. Obviously proportions are weird because America has all these really muscular Power Ranger figures and Japan has them all realistically skinny and etc. But yeah, I don't know if that Mystic Force is too buff, you know. He's got big wide shoulders, but whatever. And Mystic Force is a little shorter than uh the Mighty Morphin Red, so I guess it's just up to you guys. I mean, you can pose the red like no one's business, so if he's crouched and stuff, you know, it doesn't really matter. Now, here's Red Ranger with some more, you know, Power Ranger Super Sentai stuff. He is with the Crimson Zeltrax from Dino Thunder. I think they scale up whale. Whale? I think they scale up whale. <laughs> I think they scale up well. <laughs> They're about the same height, you know. And then there he's with the Super Samurai Red, or Shinken Red, as he is on the box, yeah. He's a, another figure art. Most of my figure arts are uh, common writers, to be honest. And uh, some are monster arts. But uh, sometimes when I stand them next to each other, the red looks bigger than the Samurai, which is obviously like bulkier a bit, but, you know, now he looks about the same height. I don't know what's up with that. But, yeah, so, the Red Ranger and the Samurai Ranger here, from Mighty Morphin and some Ranger, uh, you know, yeah, I think they scale up well together too, so he's going to scale up well with your other figure arts. That's the only other Sentai figure art I have, because as I said, I have mostly Monster Arts, Ultra Axe, and then Kamen Riders, so, yeah. <laughs> Sorry that I don't have a lot of Super Sentai stuff to show with him, mostly just Power Rangers, but, you know, that's what he is. He's marketed as a Power Ranger, not as a Super Sentai, and he's a really cool figure, and he scales up well with your other Power Ranger and Super Sentai stuff. Now, here he is with some of my Kamen Rider figures from Figure Arts, which I'm going to show him with because he, uh, the Super Sentai really crosses over with Kamen Rider a lot, and does anyone remember the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers episode? Where they crossed over with uh, Kamen Rider Black RX? Anyone remember that? When they crossed over with Masked Rider? Yeah, I remember that. Tommy was white then. Yeah. <laughs> but that was, that was cool. That was really cool. But here he's with these guys, and... You know, he was about the same height as the... Super Sentai figure that I showed earlier, the Shrinkinger. And so he's also just a little taller than Kamen Rider Ryuki here, which is a show I just recently watched this past summer. It was really good. And, uh, yeah, but I still think he scales up fine, you know. You're mostly going to have these guys posed. I mean, I only have mine standing straight up like this in my display because I don't have really a detoff or anything because I'd like them to have their accessories and stuff when they're posed. And then here he is with a Kuga Ultimate form or Kuga Ultimate Darkness when you swap his faces out. And, uh, I think he scales up probably best with him than any of the other figures I've shown so far, <laughs> to be honest, because the Kuga Darkness was a bit bigger than the other common Riders, because Kuga just had all this power. I, I remember that from the decade, I think it was Movie War? I don't, yeah, it was Movie War, because it wasn't, it, I don't think it was All Riders versus Die Shocker, but it was, it was Movie War, and he was bigger than everyone else, so, yeah, you know what? This MMPR Red Ranger from Figure Arts scales up well with your other figure arts and your Power Ranger figures from years ago. So all in all, what do I think of the SH Figure Arts Mighty Morphin Power Rangers 20th Anniversary Red Ranger? He's a really cool figure. I've been looking forward to getting him, and he's really awesome. I mean, he's got great articulation, great detail, scales up well enough. There's uh, There are a few little gripes about him. The shoulders are kind of weird, you know, make articulation a little you know, aggravating, but the detail, they do improve the detail. Comes with a lot of accessories, really nice. And I feel like one of the reasons he might be a little tiny bit taller than some of the other figure arts is because these joints in the knees and the elbows feel really long. Like, they seem like they're longer 
than, well, they are definitely longer, actually, than on the Super Sentai and the Kamen Rider figures that I have. I mean, they're definitely longer joints, for sure. So, he is a little bigger, but not so much that it messes up scaling. I mean, he looks fine with all those figures I showed him with, obviously. But, uh, yeah, overall, he is a really cool figure. Sorry I didn't show every all the stuff in his hands and etc. as much as I usually do for stuff like that. I'm just, I'm kind of pressed for time right now, and I don't really have a lot of time to film reviews anymore because I'm going to college and I'm working and all this other stuff. But I'm going to take pictures later when I get the time. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to do that. Just if you guys want to see those, just hit me up and I'll, I'll post them somewhere. I'll tell you guys where I post them. Probably on YouTube, I guess. Maybe I can make a video. But yeah, so... This Mighty Morphin Red Ranger from Figure Arts gets 4 out of 5 stars. I mean, he's really good. Not a perfect figure, but he's a really excellent figure. I really love him. Glad I have him in my collection. I'm gonna get this whole team, so I gotta pick up green, and then when pink comes out, I gotta get her, I gotta get white. And then black and yellow and... blue, and they're released. Uh, I gotta get him. Probably won't get the Red of Dragon Shield, but yeah, whatever. So, yeah, that's it, you guys. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for supporting this review. Four out of five stars. And I'll see you all later.